the equipment you'll need to perform reproducible jointing of DuraPipe PVC U Guardian joint. Pipe cutter, chamfering tool, tape measure and pencil, lint-free cloth or paper towel, DuraPipe PVC U one-step solvent cement or DuraPipe RH THF free solvent cement, DuraPipe Eco Cleaner, stirring tool, paintbrush and solvent resistant gloves. Whenever you're jointing using solvent cement, it's recommended to wear the appropriate PPE. It's important to make sure the pipe is cut clean and square. A wheel cutter is best for this job. However, as an alternative, a carpenter's saw could be used, as long as any swarf that's created is removed. A saw is often used on larger diameter pipes. Chamfer both pipes using an appropriate chamfering tool or a coarse file. For optimal jointing, the chamfer should be approximately 45 degrees. Measure the insertion depth of the outer fitting. Then add a known distance onto this measurement and mark this onto the pipe with a pencil. Once assembly of the joint is finished, this mark will confirm that the pipe has been fully inserted. In most cases, the carrier pipe will need to be longer than the outer pipe in order to be jointed into the dual socketed fitting correctly. In order to achieve this, the difference between the socket depths of the inner and outer fitting needs to be calculated. In this case, the inner socket depth of a 90 degree elbow is 35.1 mm, whereas the outer socket depth is 12.7 mm, which means the inner pipe would need to be cut 22.4 mm longer than the outer pipe. All dimensional data can be found within the DuraPipe Guardian technical brochure. Ensure the joint surfaces are clean and free from moisture. Then clean all surfaces, both on the pipe and the fitting, thoroughly with DuraPipe Eco Cleaner using a lint-free cloth or paper towel. Using an appropriately sized clean brush, apply DuraPipe PVC U cement to the inner pipe and inner fitting. Push the pipe fully home into the fitting using sufficient force to ensure the pipe is inserted fully into the socket and hold together for around 30 seconds. Do not twist the pipe. A slight adjustment to the orientation of the fitting can be made immediately after insertion. Repeat this step with the outer pipe and fitting. Application of the correct quantity of solvent will result in a neat bead of cement around the neck. Any excess can be wiped away. Check the distance marked on the outside of the pipe to confirm the pipe has been fully inserted into the socket of fitting. Replace all lids on containers when not in use. Note, there will be times when the inner and outer pipes have to be solvent cemented simultaneously. In these cases, it's imperative that the correct preparatory steps have been carried out. Assembly of the joints must be carried out speedily to ensure the solvent cement does not dry and remains in a liquid state during assembly of the components. Upon completion of assembly, observe the recommended drying times. Please consult the DuraPipe Guardian technical brochure for details. Depending upon the type of chemical and concentrations involved, HCR, high chemically resistant cement, and cleaning fluid may be required. Remember, when connecting dual contained fittings to both ends of the same pipe, the calculated difference in inner and outer pipe lengths needs to be doubled, one for each end of the assembly.